Today I want to show and explain you the strings synthesizer and all the plans and circuits for this device are in the download link below. Okay, let's start. I take out the effects, reverb and delay. So you have the clean sound of this device. A little bit louder. I switch off the sequencer. And the effects. So this device has 12 oscillators. These are 12 ramp oscillators based on Ray Wilson's circuit. I put the, uh, put the download link in the description. The 12 oscillators are split in four strings groups. The strings group, each strings group has three oscillators. So I switch to the first strings group with this switch. A little bit more volume. So you hear the first strings group can be all the groups can be tuned over a master tune. And the groups each group has its own tuner. It can be driven each section can be driven over a CV in and an external keyboard and you can switch to each group tune the group these are the strings too strings 3 and strings 4. You hear it's a little detune. These are the fine tuners for each oscillator. Strings 4 has three oscillators and so each oscillator can be tuned fine. Every group has its fine tuner. So we have 12 fine tuners for 12 oscillators. Switch back to strings 1. Here are the fine tuners for strings 1. Now I can tune a chord. Strings four, all together. A little bit more brightness. This is a Steiner Parker VCF. Two RDSR, one RDSR is for the VCA and one for the filter. And this is a group 
a little group sequencer that can be driven by an external clock. But at first, I show you the ensemble effect. It's an effect with three LFOs on 120 degrees in time. This is a difference from each LFO is a time difference from 120 degrees. It's an in, uh, intensive, intensive, sorry for my bad English, and a rate switch. Lowest rate and lowest intensity. Uh, it has three steps to the rate. And the intensity can be set up to the maximum. So, each LFO has one oscillator from one group. This is LFO1, LFO2, LFO3. LFO1, LFO2 and 3 and so on. Then the fourth LFO goes on the filter. Can hear it is a slow running LFO that gives a phasing phasing effect. Sorry. The intensity is of this switch and the more resonance I add, the more the effect. Now the whole chord that I have set can be driven from the keyboard either. The whole chord can be driven from the keyboard. The LFO speed is fixed. This is the master volume. And now I switch on the sequencer, the string sequencer, with its four groups. It is driven on an external sequencer, the clock of an external sequencer. I can switch it on. The uh, clock divider sets you the timing. belongs on the clock from the sequencer. This is uh, the full clock speed and the half clock speed. Quarter speed. And the eighth. Then you can set the steps. Let me go the speed up. The steps are from 1 to 8. I have 4. Now I at 0 it's complete off. One step. Here are two steps. Then I can set every section on another step, like the arpeggiator in my video before. I set four steps and set this step on the strings one section on the third step. Fourth step. Switch to mode one then you can hear it better now 
song altogether. A little bit more brightness. Okay. This you can make with every section. Then you can set the note for each each section at zero. For a uh, quint. Let me take the solo. Here you can hear it better. Now you hear, I can tune it up to a quint and a half. This I can uh, make with each, each section. Let me take all together. This can make nice psychedelic effects in your music. Tuning is a discipline on all analog synthesizer. Full timing. Now I set the filter ideas error on the clock and set it up. A little bit. You can set the strength. Uh, more tempo. You can set uh, nice effects. Another chord. And you can switch on the gate ideas error. So I have to put this back. So we have a more string effect in the attack. A little bit more volume. Without resonance you have more uh, string sound. With and without the ensemble effect. This is the origin, original sound with no effects. So 
It is a very nice sound, a beautiful sound when you add some reverb. I add some reverb to this. It's a very nice a psychedelic sound. Change the chord. Then add some delay. Change the chord. A little bit more delay. Change the chord simul simultan. As I said, the description is in the video description, the full plans and the circuits. Maybe you have fun to build this, you are interested in build this. I hope you could understand my English and I thank you for watching the video.